Today, Blender Babe shares with you a deliciously healthy take on an incredibly sweet dish you first fell in love with as a kid. Created by Robin Miller, who is a popular food writer, nutritionist, and author of several best-selling cookbooks, include Quick Fix Meals. Her healthier candy yams recipe cuts down on calories and keeps those pesky holiday inches from piling up on your waistline. Can you believe that traditional candy yams has more calories than a slice of apple pie? We'll help you fall in love all over again with this decadent Thanksgiving favorite. We're gonna show you how to make it in both a Blendtec and Vitamix blender. The most important ingredient is, of course, two large yams or sweet potatoes. Cut into two inch pieces for a total of about two pounds. This beta carotene rich vegetable is loaded with fiber as well as vitamin C and E both of which are potent antioxidants that play important roles in overall health and longevity. Submerge your sweet potatoes in a large saucepan with enough water to cover them by about two inches. Then bring the pan to boil for about 10 minutes or until they're tender to your fork's touch. Next, you'll wanna combine six ounces of plain non-fat Greek yogurt with two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. With Vitamix, you're gonna to wanna to mix the yogurt in a small bowl. With Blendtec, add the Greek yogurt and maple syrup to your blender and gently pulse three to four times. Careful not to overblend. You do not want your high-powered blender to break down the thickness of the yogurt. Remove two tablespoons of the mixture and set aside. Now let's come back to our yams or sweet potatoes to drain them and add them to our blender container, in which we'll also add three tablespoons of light brown sugar or raw sugar such as coconut sugar, one tablespoon of unsalted butter, melted, and one fourth a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. You can also use pumpkin pie spice. Add everything but two tablespoons of the maple yogurt mixture. With a Vitamix, start on variable speed one. Turn the machine on and slowly increase to variable speed 10 high. Use the tamper to push the ingredients into the blades. Process for 30 seconds if you want to mash with more texture or up to one minute if you want a smoother, thick puree. With Blendtec, use either your four side or wild side jar. Choose manual speed seven or medium high. If the blade spins freely, stop the machine, use a spatula to push ingredients toward the blade, and repeat process until you reach the texture you like. If using the twister jar, you'll need to do two batches of the yams plus the rest of the ingredients. Use manual speed seven or medium high and turn the lid counterclockwise. When finished, top with the remaining yogurt mixture. Mmm. I love this. And it's so quick and easy to make, too. Let us know how you like this recipe in the comments section. And check out more nutritious recipes at blunderbabes.com. Don't forget to subscribe and enter to win a high-powered blender. Thanks for watching, babe, and we'll see you next time.